this new video. My name is Martina Vincenzi and I am the founder of the VIP Flight Attendant Academy Private Jet Coach. Today I would like to tell you the, wor the worst situation of customer complaint I have ever found myself into. Um, but to be honest with you, the most traumatic experiences I had about customers complaint, they were actually on, back on my time in the airline. So, um, since I have been flying on private jets, it's not like I had uh, uh, so many uh, traumatic experiences uh, at that level. However, of course, it did happen that um, my customers were not satisfied about um, my service, uh, the flight, uh, uh, the catering or, or whatever. So it did happen, obviously. Anyway, I would like to tell you uh, probably what I consider uh, the worst experience I had. Um, so I was flying uh, um, as a freelance for this customer and uh, we had a pretty, uh, a pretty rich tour to, to go through in America and uh, South America. So traveling from Europe, the first stop was Miami uh, and then uh, we had another uh, three or four stops before flying back to, to Europe. Uh, we were spending on each and every stop between two and five days um, and just, uh, you know, taking him around on all his uh, uh, business and, and meetings and whatever. So, um, as I normally do, well, of course, I go through the customer's profile. So I just learn about this customer, what does he like and what does he want. And uh, the richer the customer profile is, the better it is. So I have more information. I have plenty of information. And this was the case. One of the information that was written on, the, on his customer profile was that uh, when in America, he didn't want to have catering from a catering company, but from a restaurant instead. Um, so, sure thing, what I decided to do before landing in Miami, I went to him and I asked him, uh, is there any specific restaurant that you like in Miami where you want me to go to get uh, catering for the next flight? Oh, yes, please, good idea. I would like you to go and he gave me the name of the restaurant. Perfect, so I have my goal, I have my mission, I know I just have to go to this restaurant, retrieve catering, and uh, I am all sorted for the next flight. Excellent. So we landed in Miami, and uh, sure thing, the day after, I just uh, went uh, to this restaurant and I spoke with the manager. Uh, I explained the situation. This, rent, this restaurant is a five-star restaurant and he, he, uh, it is also well known for catering for private jets. So it is uh, me, myself, I've been in, uh, in this restaurant chain before uh, to get catering for, uh, for my flight. So it was something that I knew already. So uh, I went to speak with the manager and I explained I need uh, catering for, uh, for this day. Um, so our departure was at midday, means that we have to be at the airport by 10 o'clock a.m. Uh, and my plan was to retrieve catering at 9 a.m. in the morning. So I asked him, can you please, uh, are you able to, uh, to cook for me fresh catering 9 a.m. in the morning? Well, the catering manager told me uh, this is uh, no go, uh, this is not going to happen. I'm not going to pay the chef uh, more money to, to have him come in earlier for you. So if you want to get catering from here, you have to take it the night before. And let me tell you something, you don't have to come in the restaurant to, to collect your catering too early, uh, sorry, too late in the, in the night because I'm busy with the dinner service. So I want you to be here between 5 and 5.30. Okay. <laughs> So um, I just uh, present myself to the restaurant at, at 5.30 p.m. the day before of my flight. I have been presented with a fresh printed menu for, uh, for dinner. They were changing menu uh, for, uh, uh, for lunch and, and, and then a new one for dinner every day. So I had like uh, the latest menu where I could choose from and I decided to, um, I went through the menu and I decided to pick some uh, food items and that they were okay uh, to present uh, in, in 12 hours time, right? So. Uh, actually more than 12, hour, the 12 hours. So something like uh, it, was, it was okay to keep it in the fridge and uh, reheat for the day after. So I just tried to 
to get you know something something nice something not too delicate and that was still keeping the flavor and the texture uh, when reheated on board so i did my selection in uh, the best way i could and uh, um, and then i I just grabbed my bags, went back to the hotel and put the bags of the catering in, uh, uh, in the fridge of the hotel. Uh, the day after, we went on board. I arrived with my, with my catering. I had something like four or five bags uh, of catering. And, uh, and yeah, then we just waited for the customer to arrive. When he arrived, I started with my usual duties and I presented to him the menu that I have prepared. And I was pretty confident, you know, because uh, I had catering from the place he wanted. I just made sure to get, uh, you know, food items that, that were okay to reheat uh, in, uh, in such, a, uh, uh, such a long time after they have actually been cooked. Uh, so I was, uh, I was pretty confident, I have to say. I was, I was okay. Uh, well, so he was seated and I was standing in the middle of the cabin. And uh, he was reading the menu. And then uh, he asked me, have you done uh, this, uh, uh, this menu yourself? And I say, yes, sir. I, uh, I personally did it uh, together with the, um, with the manager of the restaurant. And I have been, I, I, went, I just went to the restaurant, uh, uh, your favorite restaurant, the one that we discussed about uh, when we led in here in Miami. So he paused for a little while. He continued reading the menu and then eventually he came, he didn't even look at me actually. He just said, well, this selection disgusts me. So he, he made this big statement that the menu selection that I did disgusts him. Um, I felt like, I, I didn't expect that. So I felt like my blood pressure just dropped immediately to my feet. I probably turned pale, I have to say, and I just wanted to dig a hole and jump into it as quickly as possible. I, I have to say I felt pretty horrible because, uh, you know, it's a very fine line. He didn't directly offend me, but he offended my job because uh, the menu discussed him but I did the menu. So it's like, okay, you are not directly saying that I did a, that I did a, a, um, not a good job, but it, it's like implicit, right? It's uh, between the lines. And uh, uh, although the, technically the offense wasn't direct to me, to myself as a person, I still felt very sorry um, and very bad because uh, uh, again, me, I was the, the author of the, of the menu selection and I, I, and I even thought I, I did a good job by trying to get stuff, uh, food items that, that were actually going to last until, uh, until that day at lunch. Um, so I even thought I, I, I went the extra mile, you know, not, not just getting whatever from the menu, but actually giving a thought on uh, how this is going to last, uh, how can I uh, present, you know, reheat and present this food item for him in uh, uh, 12, 15, 19 hours time. So that's, uh, um, that's why I, I really didn't see it coming. And I have to say, <laughs> I felt really, really bad. Um, however, I, well, what else could I do? I mean, I, was, uh, I, I apologized. I said, I'm, I'm really sorry that there is nothing that you find uh, appealing on this uh, menu selection. Uh, please let me know if there is anything else that I can do for you. Maybe I can arrange something quickly. Uh, I can call the FBO, I can get a delivery. If there is anything you fancy uh, more than this, I can certainly uh, find this out uh, uh, for you. We still have some time to go um, before departure, so uh, I can certainly ar arrange something if you, if you wish. You know, we were in Miami, Opa Loca, so it's... Uh, easy to get, uh, uh, to, to retrieve food and, uh, and whatever you need. So, well, the sure thing he said he, he wasn't actually hungry, he didn't want to have anything, and he spent the entire flight with no food at all. Um, so, as you, as you can see, um, you can never please them all the time, right? You just, uh, the only thing that you can do is to try to do your best. But let me tell you what I learned from this. 
um, from this experience, uh, I learned not to take it personally because uh, this gentleman doesn't even know who I am. Um, he doesn't know my story. He doesn't know um, the way mm, you know the, the way my brain works. Uh, he just uh, has an interaction with me, which is very superficial and limited to the amount of time of the flight. Actually, even, uh, you know, even very limited again, because I was just flying as a freelancer for, for this tour. But then, uh, yeah, we, we could probably not see each other ever again. So it's, uh, um, you know, it, it's like, how, how can this person offend you when he doesn't even know you? Um, sure thing. He expressed his... Uh, um, his thoughts and his feelings about the menu selection that I prepared. Uh, well, at least now I know that he doesn't like that. So this is, this is a starting point, okay? It's not the finish, it's the starting point. I know how to work better next time. Um, then, yeah, as I said, I just uh, apologized and, uh, uh, and by keeping that in mind for the rest of the, uh, of the tour and the rest of the catering, I just uh, uh, kept that, that image, uh, that, that situation in my mind and I tried to do a better job. Um, so, well, this was uh, uh, so far the worst um, experience I had in terms of customers' complaint. Let me tell you if you have experienced something similar or something worse. Uh, and uh, as always, if you have any questions regarding uh, um, VIP flight attendant life, uh, uh, the private jets and the corporate aviation industry, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I would like to remind you about uh, Private Jet Coach Byte. So all these uh, mini trainings uh, that I do organize to uh, take uh, a um, a micro element of the flight attendant life and just take one small piece of that one to discuss uh, to discuss it very very in details so um, just reach out if you want to know anything if you have any questions uh, ciao for now baci baci